All right, so I went ahead and clipped the top of all these packs. I have not looked at them yet, though. Um, I managed to get all five of these blasters for a total of 50 bucks on eBay. Um, and um, I was... Um, one thing I want, why I wanted them, blow that. <laughs> um, sorry, I can't think, apparently. Um, <laughs> these are um, blasters that were, I believe I have this right, they were sold at Canadian tire stores exclusively, and they have an exclusive insert, which is um, a League Leaders um, set of 10 different cards. And I should get one of those in each blaster. And so those are um, fairly rare. I mean, not crazy, but um, there is a Henrik Lundqvist season leader card that I don't have yet. So I'm very much hoping for that one. I should have about a 50% shot at it. Um, but and then there's, yeah, so, um, figure the other ones are hopefully movable to recover some of the cost of the blasters. 13, 14 overall, I kind of have a suspicion that they were maybe overproduced or more produced than any other of the OPG years, um, only because you can you can get boxes of 13-14 for cheaper than any other year, and just the um, amount of them for sale out on the market seems higher than any other year. It's one of my favorite base designs, actually, if not my favorite. Not my favorite year of inserts, though. We've got these rings. There's a Marty McSorley. Rings and stickers. Neither of which are that exciting to me. I do like the retro design also, though. So... If I got these stacks kept in... Okay, yeah, there's our League Leaders. So I think maybe I'll have one League Leader in each of these stacks if I kept them straight. But um, So we do have our first League Leaders back here. The Darcy Kemper rookie. First League Leaders. Not one of the top ones I was looking for. Penalty Minutes, Colton Orr, Chris Neal, Mike Brown. All right. On to what I believe will be the second blaster here. There's a Wayne Gretzky. Patrick Wall. This is the one year that Retired legends were not part of the short high number short prints. They were just sprinkled in the regular base set for some reason. Kind of weird. I like it the way they usually do it when they're short printed. So did a hundred rookies this season, which is ridiculous. There's not very many of them are great. There's Vlad Tarasenko, decent one. There's Peter Morazic. They're about the highlights, I think. Um, there's probably a couple others that are somewhat decent, but I guess that's another reason that the boxes probably 
on the low end. Points. Leaders. Neil Yakupov, Jonathan Huberdeau, Corey Conacher. So, not huge names there. 31 points led the league. There's our second of five league leaders. Still hoping for that Lundquist. Michael Jordan, rookie card. It's got to be worth something, right? Maybe not. Just about all of these cards, if not all of them, um, will probably be up for sale on Sport Lots. Um, maybe even. Before I upload this to YouTube, I'll have them listed. Username Oisa11. Sweet. There's Hanky. Awesome. That is number, I believe, 104 now for my Henrik Lundqvist OPG collection. And maybe 49 cards that I don't have still. And the last 49 cards will probably be 20 times as difficult finish than the first 103 were because there are several that are extremely rare that either never pop up and or are out of my price range so but we'll see how it goes but that's awesome that I hit that one If I want to be greedy, I'd like to get maybe like a, you know, Crosby's on a couple of different League Leaders cards. I'd like to get a Crosby. Tyler Toffoli rookie. All right, blaster number four. If you are curious to see an updated look at my Lundquist OPG collection, I actually posted my first video to TikTok recently 
Um, that was showing off my first 100 cards. Um, I don't know what I'm doing on TikTok, but um, there's a blogger um, who goes by Waxpack Hero, and I enjoy his stuff. He's got a podcast too. Um, and so he was following advice to hop on the TikTok train for um, promoting his card sales and podcast and things. And so he had a post saying he, he felt <laughs> unsure about getting on TikTok also, but that had, his first couple months had been a big success. So he convinced me to give it a shot. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. But there's my fourth league leader, goals against average, Craig Anderson. And gotta be my third Bork at least. Um, yeah, trying to expand the Oisa Empire slowly. Um, hopefully soon there will be Oisa.com. Ooh, there's a little Lemieux ring, that's nice. And yeah, so I've been trying to figure out the best way to go about web hosting and yeah, I'll try and maybe do blog over there. Oh, there's an old rainbow. Take that. Then pricing out different places to get a case of 2020-21 OPG. I haven't settled on where I'm going to get it yet, but I'm determined to get one and to do one or two group breaks from it. Killer rookie. All right, the last blast over here. I don't know, they're penalty minute. <laughs> so, can't complain because I got my one list that I really wanted, but the other four were <laughs> not so great. But, getting the one list was the win. An ultimate pack.
Ended on a Victor Fast Orvigard. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.